Disney's private island, Castaway Key. owner of Magic Land Vacations, the travel planning genius. You know we love helping families like you save time, save stress, save hassle, and create extra magic on those Disney and Universal destination vacations and way more. And today we are from Disney's Castaway Key, our, their own private island in the Bahamas, talking to you about all the cool, exciting, fun, amazing things you can do. Now, if you've been to Castaway Key before, I would love for you to comment below what is your favorite thing to do there. And if you haven't, I put down your questions down below and we are more than happy to answer them for you and your family. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. That helps the YouTube algorithm so more people get to see our incredible content to help families like you. While you're at Disney's Castaway Key, make sure you do some of the incredible photo opportunities on your Disney Cruise vacation. This is my favorite spot. It's these big, big, giant characters. You don't want to miss this. They're all throughout the basically the walk from the Disney Dream onto the private island, there is photo stops all along the way. You don't want to miss them. I'm kind of covering up Pluto, but there's Pluto over there too. Uh, it's just so much fun. Now, of course, no visit to any island is complete without some port adventures or onshore excursions. Castaway Key is no different. You can pet stingrays. You can grab one of those huge tricycles and ride those. There's banana boats that you can ride, there's glass bottom boat tours, there's snorkeling, there's all sorts of fun things to do. And if you don't want to be out in the sun, there's also some fun in the shade where you can do some pool and some basketball, that kind of a thing. So whatever floats your boat, Castaway Key is going to have it. Of course, one of the best things they can do while visiting Castaway Key is just to grab a lounge chair underneath an umbrella and just land on the sun and relax because you are on vacation. If you're an adult, you can also go to Serenity Bay, which is the adults only beach on Castaway Key, but there's nothing better than just laying out in the sun and relaxing. Now, one of the things that we love to do when we come to Disney's private island, Castaway Key, is meet our incredible favorite Disney friends. And we got Minnie behind me. And you know what? Don't worry, she's gonna take a skinny dip in Lake herself later on by diving into the ocean to cool off. Yes, you will, absolutely. But she also told me, do not be scared to send a charcuterie board filled with her favorite cheeses to her own stateroom on board the Disney Dream, okay? All right, we love you, many. Mwah! Now, one of the things that we love more than anything else about Disney's Castaway Key is the all-you-can-eat lunch buffet at Cookies. And it is supposed to start at 11.30, but sometimes it opens a little bit early. So you gotta watch for those roll-up doors to open, and that means they are officially open and ready to serve. And what makes this really unique is all of your favorite cast members that actually work on board the ship actually come onto the island and actually serve you. So you might actually see your servers, some other people that you've seen on the ship. They might actually be here many cookies, so make sure you say hello to them. And of course, there's actually another location where you get an all-you-can-eat buffet too, and that is called Cookies 2. So there's cookies and there's cookies too. Let's check out the lunch buffet. When you come over to Cookies, there's gonna be several different entrances. They all serve the same thing. So if you see one that's busier than the other one, don't fear, go to another one because they all serve the same thing. All right, now Cookies Barbecues can have everything they could hope for in a barbecue. So you're gonna have hot dogs, hamburgers, corn, chicken, ribs, uh, there's salmon, uh, there's coleslaw, there's beans, there's there's uh, cornbread, there's brownies, there's cookies, there's anything you can think of that would be like good barbecue you have. They have lots of, don't worry, they got lots of ketchup, they got lots of mustard, mayonnaise, all the trimmings you're gonna add to it. And I'm really excited to try it. 
On my plate, I got sweet potatoes, hot dogs, chicken, ribs, corn, uh, cornbread, and brownie. My husband got coleslaw, sweet potatoes, salmon, ribs, chicken, and we're gonna see how it all is. All right, so what were my favorites for lunch? Uh, my favorites were walkers. I always love hot dogs. It doesn't matter where I get a hot dog. I always love hot dogs, so that was great. Chicken was good, teeny bit dry, but it was good. I really, 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 really loved the barbecue ribs. I thought they did a great job there. Make sure I'm, <laughs> you said I'm a little full. Make sure you grab some of that barbecue sauce that they have, extra barbecue sauce for that. That was really, really good. Uh, really quick, I gotta ask my husband, what did you think about the salmon? How was the salmon? He gave it a big old thumbs up. So if you are a fish person, which I am not, I am from Texas, we're a steaky potatoes. Uh, you try that and he's trying a hamburger right now. How's the hamburger? Take a take a big bite out of the hamburger. Tell us what it's like. It's beef. <laughs> Good? Moist. He's giving me a nod and he says it's very, very juicy. We, we love juicy, juicy hamburgers. Now, uh, for <coughs> dessert, that brownie was OMG, so really, really good. I mean, that brownie, I was not expecting that. That was like a one-two punch on my sweet tooth. That was so incredibly, incredibly, incredibly good. And uh, my husband brought me an extra rib, so I'm gonna enjoy that right now. Now, if you want to get an alcoholic beverage while you're at Disney's Castaway Key, there are plenty of bars throughout the island. There's some at Serenity Bay, and then, of course, there's also some in the family area. This is conch bars where you get conch out uh, for your day at Disney's Castaway Key. Now, something else you don't want to miss about Disney's Castaway Key is go shopping. There are some things that you can only find on Castaway Key that you can't find on board your ships. So make sure when you guys land, you spend a little bit of time to go shopping, all right, for some fun, unexpected Castaway Key souvenirs. All right, I got my husband here. Say hi, husband. Hi, husband. <laughs> so one of the things you can do at Castaway Key if you don't feel like walking too long is you can take one of the trams. And we're going to take the tram to Serenity Bay, which is the adult-only part of the beach where it's a little bit quieter. Uh, there's cookies too. Okay. There is also uh, a bar if you want a drink, a beverage, which I might get a, it's called a Dirty Monkey, which is Kahlua, banana, and a little bit of chocolate. And a little bit of happiness. And a little bit of happiness, absolutely. So we've made it over to Serenity Bay, which is the adult only part of Disney's Castaway Key. And you can already hear it's way more quieter. A lot less people, it's a whole different vibe. And this is one of the reasons why I tell people that a Disney cruise is amazing for adult only couples because a lot of the adult only areas become way more exclusive because so many families actually come on the Disney cruise that it's really amazing. And you do have your own bar out here as well. Uh, so this is beautiful. They also sometimes have live music, which is fantastic. All right, so here are some pro tips for your day at Disney's Castaway Key. Number one, make sure you bring some beach bags because there are no towels once you get onto the island. So as soon as you get off the ship, there's going to be some cast members there that are going to be hold, handing you towels. Make sure you grab plenty of towels. Don't just grab one for after you are wet. Grab some extras that we can put on your beach chairs, your lounge chairs, that kind of a thing. Uh, obviously, you need your key to the world card and a photo ID to get back on board the ship. So don't leave without those as well. The other thing I would suggest is if you are wearing sandals or flip flops, it can be quite a track if you're not taking the tram to go to different parts of Castaway Key, especially Serenity Bay. So I highly advise you to wear uh, socks and nice walking shoes until you get to the location that you want to be at and then you can change into your your beach sandals your flip-flops that kind of a thing um, it also doesn't hurt to bring waters with you or drinks with you they do have them on the island um, but you know why not bring some with you and definitely definitely bring that refillable mug because you can go straight to the free uh, soft serve stations at cookies and cookies too and get um water, soda, all those kinds of things and refill them up in your mug. So those are my favorite tips for an amazing day at Castaway Key.
you guys so much for watching one of our another amazing videos. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss any of our amazing new videos. We are Magic Land Vacations with Disney and Universal Travel Planning Experts. And make sure if you haven't already, check out our website, MagicLandVacations.com. There you can schedule a consultation with one of our amazing experts. And guess what? We do way more than just Disney and Universal Vacations, so definitely want to check us out there. Also, make sure you go to our private Facebook group, Travel Genie Fan Club, where we do giveaways and trivia contests every single month. And of course, I have some two other amazing videos for you to watch, one right over here and run right over there. One right there and one right there. I think I would start with that one. Or maybe that one. Or maybe that one.